Welcome back. So on page 25, we have three musical examples that help us to practice all eight notes that we now know. You definitely want to take a moment to review those eight pitches, G and A on the third string, B, C, and D on the second string, and E, F, and G on the first string. And you definitely need to know where they are on the staff. I'm going to go ahead and play through the first example for you by Baby Bunting, an English lullaby. We'll play through it twice, the first time without counting, the second time with counting. One, two, three, four. You'll notice right away that there are some very tricky leaps on the second line. Those are going to be the most difficult part of the piece. The rhythms are very straightforward. We have quarter notes worth one beat and half notes worth two beats. In the right hand, we're not doubling. We're always going index middle, index middle using rest strokes. So for this exercise, you may want to take a moment and play index middles on the third string just to make sure that you're not repeating a finger. And just run it as an exercise. Now, I'll do that first exercise again and I'll count it off for you. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, 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 two, one, two, one, 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 two, one, two, one, 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 two. Go ahead and pause the video and work on Bye Baby Bunting. The next piece is an American classic, Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle is a very fun piece that should be a quick learn. It, as you look at the piece, you'll see that there's a lot of sequential motion, note to note to note, not a lot of leaps. It's also got very straightforward rhythms, quarter notes with a couple of half notes, and there's a lot of repetition. So I'll go ahead and play through it. One, two, ready, go. There's only one tricky uh, leap that is on the second line at the second to last measure. Otherwise, it's all sequential motions. Go ahead and pause the video and work on Yankee Doodle. The last piece on page 24 is the most challenging. Uh, as you can see, it starts out with a lot of leaps. And again, we know that when we see leaps, we're moving from string to string. Red River Valley really does give us a workout between all the leaps and all eight notes on the top three strings. Go ahead and challenge yourself to name through all the notes in the piece. You can go as slow as you need to, but name through them so that way you properly know that you've identified where those pitches are and who they are. Now let's go ahead and play through it. I'm going to play it for you one time nice and slow. I'll go ahead and count us in. One, two, three, four. These three pieces will give you a great challenge in really mastering the top three strings. Go ahead and pause the video, work hard on these, and um, we'll get going on the fourth string.